Well, day three and the final day of week seven for the National Hunt is upon us. And we've got 12 races for you today, obviously including the Welsh Grand National from Chepstow. But we're going to be starting with the John Wade Earthworks Novice Hurdles over at Sedgefield, which is a two mile one. It's a fairly small field there. Eight of them go to post. And then we're going to move on to a small, a three mile handicap hurdle. Then we move over to Chepstow, where the first race of the day there will be the three mile handicap hurdle. And that'll be followed by the finale juvenile hurdle group one, which is just over the extended two miles where the four-year-olds will be put to the test, where you imagine it's all in the hips. The 152 rated hurdler for Joshua Southern will be battling out with Millennium Power of Moylet Surfer, Ugni Blank from Darren Thompson, and Paul Rhodes Heist, who was a maiden last week. First time out, came fourth. We'll be looking to improve from there. Then we move on to the big one, which is the Welsh Grand National over three mile five furlongs. Uh, a fairly even field, I'd say. Nice big field. There's a fair few in here that have uh, obviously would have run against each other before. You've got the Mighty 8 um, from Josh. It's a 145 chaser. will be top of the pile. We'll be carrying the 12 stone round and we'll probably go off favourite. Then you've got Darren Thompson's Itam It It Mabo, sorry, um, which is just rated a pound lighter. Well, that hasn't been very successful of late. A couple of falls and unseated his rider on occasion. I'd be more inclined to like the look of sounds of the marina from Darren Thompson, a little bit better form, and obviously going to be getting around about an eight-pound pull from the top weight. You've also got in there Spinflake for Thunderspark. Uh, claims it's a three-mile fire chaser, so it will have a chance. You've got Third Prophet from Joshua Sutherland as well. You've got Zacreet from Stu Gray, who did quite well last week in a four-mile maiden. Came third, but it's a big drop in distance, and I know that one's uh, aiming Grand National. Uh, looking further down the card, Glen Moss Tara for John Morgan must stand a chance. Finally stood on its feet for this first time I think two weeks back it had fallen previously on its first two starts but rated 118 he's going to be getting uh, a good weight check off some of the other top horses further down we've got Martin Leedham's now and then off 129 previous two wins moving up in class from Hunter and then he was in the more millions last week and won it and now goes to see if he can take the Welsh Grand National to the Midlands, maybe. The other one I'd like the look of is W again for Kevin Meenham. Tends to be, he's going to be just on the bottom weight off 116. Kevin tends to have very good horses over these distances, so I'd look out for that one. And Peter Hannan brings out his name check hotel, who had a very successful win over four miles a couple of weeks back. So if I really had to stick my neck out there, I'd probably go for Sounds of the Marina for Darren Thompson. I'd like to think my horses are creep or get in the money, but uh, it's a bit short for him and I'd go for Glen Moss Tara as the winner if it can stay on its feet. Then we're off to Ferry House with the Hatton's Grace Hurdle. A small field for a group one there, over two mile four. Got some good horses in there. Eagles landed for Joshua Sutherland off a 171 rating. Gotta have a chance. And you've got Black Benny of Molly at Surfer off a 133. Money goes away for Darren Thompson. And then down at the bottom, you've got a brand new horse coming in as its first time out. It's Photon Beam for Thunderspark. And as we know, they're usually very good. Then we're going to have the Dawn Run Maiden Hurdle over at two miles three at... Maiden Chase. I'll be calling all these home at Ferry House. I do apologise. Martin's over at Chepstow. Um, a small field for the Three Mile Novice Maiden Chase. Only six of them go to post there. So money almost for everybody if they stay on their feet. And then Martin's going to end up at Lingfield. He's got the December Novices Chase, the G2. And only four go to post there, which is a little bit disappointing. You've got Rambling Rhapsody of John Morgan pulling your leg for Graham Clutterbuck. Battle at the hot gates of Joshua Sutherland and Summertime Blues for Derek Hinton. So anything could win that. Then Martin will be calling home the starters orders qualifiers. We've got leg five of the hurdle and also leg five of the chase, both over two miles and three furlongs. And then the last two races of the day, the old point to point hunter chases are out at Ornwick. I'm not too sure where that is. I think it's up north in Scotland. we have got a two mile one. And then the last race of the day will be a chase over two mile three, where again, very small field, only five go to post there, and we'll all be looking to get some money. So let me hand you over to Martin, and good luck for the final day of the week. Good luck to France and Belgium tonight. See, good luck to England tomorrow. So we'll catch up with you next week. Goodbye.